everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome to a new series, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. So this is the fourth and latest uh, game in the Mass Effect uh, title, I guess. I think. I played a bit of the first three Mass Effects. However, I never finished any of them, although I did like them. That being said, it's been a long time since I've played them. So, I'm going to be pretty much fresh and new on this game. This is just going to be kind of a side project along with Final Fantasy X and, of course, Minecraft. And this is a long game. I don't know how it's going to go. This is totally blind, pretty much. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but that was a while ago as well. So, this is kind of going to be totally new. Let's begin. Uh... Just leave it as default. Uh, except. <laughs> except. Okay, I. Let's customize our character. Oh, that loading screen. Initializing, please wait. Character customization, you are cur currently offline and will not be able to import or export your character data. If you wish to export data after character creation, you will not be able to share it. To connect and use online features, please go back to the main menu. No! <laughs> okay, that's gonna be the official robot voice. Okay. Can I... I won't be. I don't think I can customize the... Uh, voice. And because of that, suppose in all the other Mass Effect games, the female character had the better voice. I don't know what I should go for here. I kind of wish I could hear the voice. Because I have not heard the male voice in this game either. Oh, I have a twin I have to customize as well. Um... I don't know what that means. Uh, customize history. Oh. Um. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go female all the way. I'm just gonna go female character. Because supposedly that's the better option to go for. So I'm probably going to speed this up now. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of the character I decided to go for. I went with the, like, cyan-colored hair, or, like, sky blue, because why not? And I went with blue eyes, and slightly blue-tinted lipstick. You can tell which color I like. <laughs> Just as a preface, again, we're only going with the female character, because in all the other Mass Effect games, the female voice actor was far superior to the male one. So, that's why. Anyway, we need to... I think I'm probably just gonna leave it that name, honestly. I mean, what would I name myself? Andrea? I don't know. Most of players now? Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay, inherit. Also, uh, I'm probably not gonna mess with the twin. I think the twin can probably... St yeah, the twin can stay the same. I'm not gonna mess with the twin any. Anyway, let's go through training. Security. Starting power. I 
and it's kind of looking to these and seeing what I might can get. This is kind of, from what I know, Mass Effect is kind of like an RPG in a distant kind of way. And this kind of goes into that a little bit. Honestly, I don't know what half of this means yet because I haven't gotten in the game. I think we're gonna go with security, honestly. That just seems like the generic one. And like I said, we're leaving my twin the exact same. Yeah. Customize history. We'll go with that. Let, let us confirm and start the game. Okay, um... I'm more interested in story than combat. Casual. I'm not going on hardcore insanity. Let's just go with normal. Forget it. Yes. I, I don't know how well this will turn out for me, but normal it is. I might die horribly. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by a thousand years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the hundred thousand... For the hundred thousand adventurers embarking on this one, we put... Okay. <laughs> okay, and Mass Effect Andromeda. There we go. <laughs> uh, you can pause the video, right? Six thousand or six thousand six hundred and thirty-four years la later. Date zero hour zero day. Arc Hyperion. Occupancy twenty thousand human colonists. Andromeda Galaxy. Destination Habitat 7 in the Helios Cluster. Oh, I hope y'all enjoy the series. <laughs> I hope I do as well.
breaths. You're gonna want to take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choices. Tone choices help define Ryder's personality. Emotional, logical, casual, or professional. Hmm. Let's go casual. I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your <coughs> adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? My implant? I'm excited! Or guess I'm excited! Still thawing. I wanna know more. I just need a second to get my bearings. Uh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? Still thawing. I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. real quick for a What's second wrong? I don't know have to check it out one second note that when I say get my bearings I mean move from chair to couch <laughs> I forgot to do that before recording and I don't want any squeaking in this game in fact I don't really want any squeaking in any video now anyway also just a mention 
This is going to be recorded Final Fantasy X style, in meaning that I'm going to have long gaming sessions all at once, and the video will be broken up into many parts. So, there's not going to be many intros and outros for this series. As such, let's move forward. And let me check to make sure I'm recording. Sarah, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. Be All on deck towards the hmm. I can't lose him. What's the prog prognosis? When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. Okay. Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're interested. Okay, so here we go. Who are you? It sounds yeah. amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. You got cool hair too. Hi what there. can you use? I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. Sounds has me that one the hard part. The other arcs. Arc Hyperion, housing the human population. Arc Barjero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Arc Natanis, embarking in 2185. At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As recon specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Okay then. Tell me about the Pathfinders. <laughs> the Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each ARC is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. Wow, that is literally the exact same thing from Xenoblade Chronicles X. Not even kidding. Andromeda Initiative. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including Arcs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. Hmm. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. Oh no. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all oh, it's of us different. together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. Let's log off. Just kind of exploring the ship. Hmm. Oh, I can sprint. I kind of did. Ah, that's how. Do I gotta jump? Nope. I have a first person mode which scares me because I'm terrible at first person shooters. Still in stasis. Idols look good. 
starving. Hmm. Have I checked this one? This one's still asleep. I heard Pathfinder, that's all I know. Apparently I'm a Pathfinder? Is that right? TV now, so it might be a little harder for me to read. If I told him, can I go through? I was hoping I could get through my settings, but there's nothing really useful there. That was close. You okay? Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Adventure. Oh my gosh. Um. Not sure bye. Your dad will see it that way. Dad. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so I'm probably going to talk a little bit more in cutscenes in this game than Final Fantasy, considering it's a blind let's play. However, I try to keep it minimal. Never hurts to have commentary, though. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? I, I'm with her. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well... He might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My father looks something like me. He has no blue hair. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that our golden world? Oh. That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Well, it has blue on it. That's a good sign. Right? All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. Yeah, it looks bad. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. 
things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our sensors. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. That really doesn't look good. <laughs> um... But I guess it's better than a drift in space. I guess. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. I accidentally bumped the mic again. Dang it. Uh-oh, I went recording. Crud, um, nothing important happened. Dr. Sorry. Carlisle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Sorry about that, I went recording. A medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, I brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. All right, team. Button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. Okay, real quick, uh, I just found out that I wasn't recording for a small section. Oh, uh, I think, I think the all that was missed was me getting a gun, and that was really it. There was not even an in-game cutscene or anything like what's happening right now. So, it's really not all that important. I believe. The downside is I can't go back for it. I don't know how saving works in this game. But, uh, eh, I don't think I can go back for it. Right? I can't even pause right now, so I clearly can't. Anyway, I better start gonna make it. He better. He better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. <clears throat> Never was an early riser. Just Excuse don't me. let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Sharp as my blue hair with Your mom shadow glitches. Both of you. I just realized his eyes are blue at my character. Did they even? Did they really think that much okay, into team, it? Okay, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, finding the edge of the map. And then, discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. 
So, let's go make history. Yeah, with my blue hair. That's gonna be that's gonna be a common theme. Been waiting six hundred years for this. I don't think it'd be like this sleep for six hundred years. You'd have well, you'd have to use the bathroom so badly once you woke up by bed. I don't know, Our I'm immature. This is Shuttle 1, switching to manual guidance. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, stay clear of it. Seems a little solid, doesn't it? I mean, we hit it and it's literally stopped us. Like, uh, we are at a planet. Can I move? No. Okay. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa. Security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. In the beginning our acceleration. Planet's dead ahead. This is weird. The audio from characters is louder where you're looking. That is scary. Initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go. The flight guidance is scrambled. I win when I play this with VR. Because of this. Well, are we in? We're in. We're in. And the sky was sideways. Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Um. On course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. There's water. That's a good sign. And lightning. Keep it tight, shuttle two. Uh, mountains are floating. Uh. What? Why? Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Those mountains were floating. Has seen us? What if they're not friendly? Oh, aliens. No use of deadly force <laughs> Casually. Yeah, oh, aliens. <laughs> Anyway, 
I'm gonna end my first recording session here right about now, and I just got the trophy first contact. Right Perfect timing. Anyway, I don't know how this series is gonna be received. Trouble. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. Uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know how well this series will be. Look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? Please stop talking. Uh, I'm gonna end my se session here. I don't know how well this series will be received, but if you like it, please comment down below for and you'll get more. Those anyway, we saw in the way in. stop talking! Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. Thank you, for watching. Thank you all for watching. I've been RSKOS, and I'll see you next episode. Bye! <laughs>